Hi, thanks for tuning in to The Clapper Report. I'm Aaron Clapper with Shorewood Realtors. Today we're gonna to talk about some really interesting market statistics, but before we dive into that, we're gonna talk about how to properly price your home when selling it to get the most value possible. When choosing the proper list price for your home, what I've learned over the years in selling hundreds of homes is that what you really wanna do is price the home where you believe it will sell. You don't wanna price it too high because you potentially alienate the buyers. You don't wanna price it too low because you potentially leave money on the table. Buyers are generally looking for homes in a price range that they're comfortable with. They're not gonna look 10 or 20% above that price range, they're simply gonna look within that price range. Therefore, if you're overpriced by 10 or 20%, you're simply missing that pool of buyers and you'll never get them to walk through your front door. If you think you're gonna price your property 10 or 20% below market value in order to get multiple offers and bid the price up, what if the buyer pool isn't out there? What if the multiple offers don't show up? Then you're stuck at a lower price and it's really hard to make up that lost ground. In conclusion, the best thing to do is price it where you believe it will sell. Ultimately, what that does is open up the market, open up the buyer pool as wide as possible and get you the most interest on your home. So now onto market stats. What we're gonna discuss this month is days on market. So the way that we calculate days on market is we look over the past six months for the properties that have sold and we simply see how many days it took them to sell. In Manhattan Beach, over the past six months, there's actually been 185 closed sales. Now, of those 185 sales, the average days on market has been only 51 days. That means that that inventory is moving. It's less than two months. That's pretty good. In Hermosa Beach, in the past six months, there's been 86 sales. And the average days on market, similarly, has been 56 days on market. In Redondo Beach, it's a larger city, there's been 407 sales with an average days on market of 56 as well. And in Torrance, there's been 478 sales with an average days on market of 55. Now, as you can see in the beach cities and in Torrance, there's a pretty tight window, 51, 55, 56 days on market. It shows a relatively healthy market. Now, as we move on to the hill and in PV, what we're gonna find is a slightly different story. Let's start with Rancho Palos Verdes. In RPV, there's 204 sales in the past six months with an average days on market of 72. In Palos Verdes Estates, there's been 75 sales in the past six months with an average days on market of 99. In Rolling Hills Estates, there's been 65 sales over the past six months with an average days on market of 81. And in Rolling Hills, that very small, tiny, very exclusive, behind the gates community, there's been only 12 sales in the past six months with an average days on market of 81. So what does this all mean? In the beach cities, we have an average days on market from 51 to 56 days. And on the hill in PV, we have an average days on market from 72 to 99 days. What does that tell us? Well, there's a little bit quicker activity, a little faster moving market in the beach cities, a little more hustle and bustle, and it's a little bit more sluggish, just a little bit on the hill. When looking at days on market, if you're selling in Manhattan, Hermosa, Redondo, or Torrance, of course you wanna be priced right, but with an average days on market of 51 to 56 days, you can afford to be a little aggressive in your pricing. Maybe if you have a range, you can definitely afford to go on the upper end of that range. However, if you're looking in the PV market and you're looking to price your home properly to sell, knowing that days on market is a little bit longer, you really want to be very, very accurate in your pricing so that you're not staying on the market longer than you need to and potentially losing money. For any other specific information regarding your situation, your property, or any real estate related questions, contact me anytime. Again, my name is Aaron Clapper with Shorewood Realtors, and I can be reached via email at aaron at clappergroup.com or on the phone at 310-546-9800. Thanks so much for tuning into the Clapper Report. Have a great day.